Yeah, hi viewers. I thought I'd have a look inside one of these Cold War Soviet era VFD clocks. It's made by the company Electronica. And this particular clock is an Electronica 13. And it uses the individual VFD tubes. You can see the lineup here. Uh, the board is pulled out once you remove the front cover with a filter and it has a screw point at the bottom of the cover which is hidden so under that screw then the cover is pulled away and then the main board can be withdrawn here your mains transformer fuse your setting adjustments brightness control the crystal is over here and the, the calibration is by a potentiometer which is on the other side of the board here are all the digital counters lined up and driver transistors in a group here these are your two main filter electrolytic capacitors And this is one I've taken out of a clock previously. Uh, the, one of the legs are completely corroded out of a capacitor, so it's probably a good idea to replace the electrodes in these things because after being sitting around since the 1980s, they'd probably be drying out and won't be much good anymore. So here are your display groups, your individual vacuum fluorescent display tubes. Same style as the Nixie tube, beautifully made. Lovely to look at the internal workings of these things. Yeah, the interesting thing about these VFD tubes is they make little pinging noises when they're energised, it's probably just due to the heating of the filament. Anyway, I was trying to pick it up with a little microphone, so hopefully it'll come through on the audio. Yeah, 